Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0112 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0112 code? Well, it's the intake air temperature IAT sensor circuit low voltage input. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the air temperature sensor to know what the temperature of the air is as it enters the engine. And it's seen a problem inside this circuit, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes, it could be a faulty intake air temperature sensor. It could be a bad mass airflow sensor, mainly because some Hondas have the IET sensor and the mass airflow sensor combined into one package. Although they can be separate, sometimes they can be combined with the mass sensor. So it's just something to keep in mind. It could be a wiring issue, such as an open wire or no reference voltage or short to ground, something along these lines. And in some cases, if there's really high temperatures and the engine's really hot, then it could throw out this code in some cases. And so the first thing to do is going to be to Google where the intake air temperature sensor is on your particular Honda, since there can be some differences. It'll be located where the air goes in, so it'll be around the air intake box, either before or after, or right around the throttle body. It'll vary depending on the Honda year and the engine. And so the first thing to do is going to be either Google it or go and look, but find where the air intake temperature sensor is. And once you find the intake air temperature sensor, the first thing to do, especially with this error code, is going to be to check out the wiring. Check out this harness. Be sure that it's plugged in all the way, that there's no issues there. Check all these pins. Be sure that those pins all look good, that that's plugging into the sensor. And check out these wiring, because this code is pointing to a wiring problem. And bad wiring can have the same symptoms as a bad sensor, so this is going to need to be checked out. And you'll need to get the schematics for your particular year and Honda engine to know exactly what's going on with it. And the IAT sensor is just a thermistor. And what that does is that it changes resistance as the heat goes up. So with the onboard computer, it'll send five volts in usually. Again, you have to look at schematics. But usually they'll send in five volts. The thermistor will change as the temperature increases. And then the other wire is going back to the onboard computer. will measure this change. And the onboard computer can calculate what the temperature is. And so be sure to check out this wiring be sure that all looks good and that there's no open shorts you're getting reference voltage there's no blown fuses this, this will be on a fuse somewhere so be sure to check for that and so once you check all that you check out all the wiring you know that's all good you know there's no open shorts anything along these lines no blowing fuses then the next thing to do is be go ahead and replace that iat sensor i'll jump over on amazon give you an idea how much they cost they're low cost parts they're not expensive or nothing usually you get one for like 10 20 dollars looks like there's one for like 27 but they're not high cost parts or anything and you can also test them if you want to since they're a thermistor and the resistance changes as the temperature goes up what people do is they'll hook them up to a meter and then they'll use like a some kind of heat source like a hot air dryer there's some youtube videos on that if you want to check that out but most people would just go ahead and replace it at this point since they are low-cost parts and so what do you do if you have a honda with the p0112 code well first thing to do google where the intake air temperature sensor is located on your particular honda since there can be some differences but you're going to want to locate where that's at it'll be on the air intake somewhere either before or after the air box or right around the throttle body check all the wiring this code is pointing towards the wiring having issues so you're going to want to check all the wiring you're going to want to check for any open shorts any blowing fuses anything along these lines get the schematics for your particular hondas since there can be some differences the way the wiring was designed you want to get the schematics for it and check the wiring once you know that's all good and that's no issues there either test or replace the sensor and that should solve the issue and so that's basically it i just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing the honda with the p0112 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.